We're just hanging out with Mama this morning while she cleans her windows. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this next one. Okay. Uh, you did it! Mama, <laughs> where are you? Mama, Mama. There you are. <laughs> I'll put it over here. Now I thought you were gone. I thought you were gone. <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah. You're such a Midwesterner. Ope. Ope. Where'd you guys get that? You got it from your mama. Your mommy. Good afternoon. Welcome to the vlog. I haven't vlogged at all today. I went and got my hair toned um, during nap time. I had my hair done for the first time. I can't, I think I did vlog it. For the first time in a long time, I had my hair done, but it took four hours to do just the highlights and wash. And so he didn't get a chance to tone it or um, dry it. So he said, come back and I'll tone it for you, which I, I really like a cool blonde. And when you first get it toned, it's usually a little bit cooler than you want. And then it sort of fades as time goes on. So it's, to some people it might look a little too silver or gray, but I like it really nice and cool. So I love it. I actually would prefer it to just stay like this, but I know that's not a common desire for blondes. Maybe it is, I don't know. Anyway, I think we're gonna go to the playground. If it's not gonna rain, they just told me, is it raining, guys? Yeah. I'm using AccuWeather these days. It literally tells you minute by minute whether there's gonna be rain. No precipitation for at least 120 minutes. You guys ready? I was yeah. just making sure it wasn't gonna rain. Cause we wouldn't want to get out there and then get rained on. You know what I'm saying? I also maybe need to bring you guys a snack. Here comes the kids! Yay! Cool! <laughs> so there's nobody, nobody else here, which is always nice. But I just had to have the conversation with them that when we're at the playground and it's just me with the three of them, they always have to stay where they can see me. Because if they can't see me, I can't see them. And, you know, we're starting to have the stranger talks and they just need to be mindful. So, we Bear kind of ran off while I was getting Lyndall out of the car and I had to sit down and have a little lecture with them. But, you know, if there's one thing I've learned during parenting, it's that they understand way more than they than you realize. and. So even Eloise, I'm explaining, she's got to stay, stay close to me, stay where she can see me. Now is a great time to be able to explain that because, like I said, there's nobody else here. So it's easy to take a second to just explain that to them. I'm gonna start implementing that every single time we come to the playground for sure. By the way, I learned. Let's play on this one for a little bit because this one's better for Eloise, and then in a little bit we'll go over to the bigger one. Okay. I learned that from one of you guys because I was talking about how Brad dropped us off at the playground and went and got lunch and I was with all three of them by myself and there were a ton of people there and it was nerve wracking and I wasn't like prepared for it and I was just nervous the entire time. So one of you guys recommended like having that conversation with them and also somebody else said dress them all in the same color so you can easily spot them. I thought that was really good and in, in a perfect world I would have done that but I I usually have no say in what Lyndall's wearing. <laughs> One more thing, I realized the irony of me saying like, be vigilant, keep your eye on your kids. And I'm sitting here vlogging while they're at the park. I'm watching them all while I'm talking. I can see all three of them right now. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight Forgo So we're, 
we're back home. Brad's home. I'm on a mission to organize the twins' room a little bit better. Bear, bring the sunglasses back right now. A while ago, I decided to put the twins' clothes into baskets because they never stayed folded in their drawers anyway and it was just kind of a pain and I never ended up putting them away. And so instead, I'm just throwing them into baskets. When I'm done with laundry, I sort into piles and then I put those into baskets. I think it would be a lot easier and helpful for the twins if I got matching, like these are obviously all a disarray of random baskets. I think it would be easier for everybody if I got some matching baskets and then I can put pictures on the outside put an L for Lendl's baskets and a B for Bayer's baskets and then pictures of what should go inside them on the outside so they can help put their laundry away and stuff. So I'm gonna run, we have a Dollar Tree. I'm gonna run there and see if they have any baskets that are matching and then I can put the labels on them and just kinda get, feel more organized in that room. I think they do, Lindell. What do they need? Checkups. Checkups, what are you gonna check? You're gonna check their heart? Been watching a lot of Doc McStuffins. Lindell, does that make you wanna be a doctor when you grow up? Yeah? Bear, what do you wanna be when you grow up? A garbage man. Garbage man, nice. Eloise, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Um, Who do you wanna be? She, <laughs> she just wants to be wee wee. Oh, a Wee Wee wants to be a blippy. She could be a YouTube YouTube personality. I haven't really made any progress as far as like, you know, basically all now it's about organization and just kind of trying to figure out what's gonna be best. You know, it seems like most of our meals we're eating over in the office. So we need to take over like more utensils and we pictured ourselves eating here a lot more, but it just hasn't been the case because we have our whole kitchen here basically. Well, who knows what we'll continue to do in the future. It just, you know, obviously the, the heating and cooling is much better in the office. And yeah, it's small, but I mean, there's plenty of room for us to get around. So it's working out really great so far. So we're out exploring the new neighborhood. Technically it's across the street from where we're currently living, but some of these houses are really neat. Some of the views are just gorgeous. And this house is actually for sale. It's, a, it's pending now. Um, but I thought about maybe we could buy this house, do a rehab and while we build our new house, and, you know, sell it when we're done. But just a crazy market. So we would just have to, we would just really overpay for it and be really expensive for repairs. So. Decided it wasn't a great pink idea. Flowers. They have pink flowers. Yeah, they do. Pretty. Uh-uh. Oh, no, no, like mm. But yeah, look at that view. It's pretty. It's a neat looking house. You see some flowers? Yeah, flowers. 